Microsoft is revealing more details about its next operating system, Windows 10. As it holds Microsoft Build, its largest developer conference of the year in San Francisco. CCTV's Mark New was there. Able to bring your skills, your Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella made his pitch to developers to come to and build apps platform. for Microsoft on Windows 10. It is Windows built for this era of more personal computing. It's built where mobility of the experience across devices is what is paramount. Microsoft seeks to make Windows 10 easier to use than the disappointing Windows 8 by incorporating familiar start and lock screens, for example, and combining it with its latest technology, like Cortana, its personal intelligent assistant. Hey, Cortana, start a chat with Terry Meyerson on Viber. Starting a chat with Terry Meyerson. But Microsoft stressed that Windows 10 would allow universal apps to work seamlessly across phones, tablets, PCs, game consoles, and Internet of Things devices. So at the end of the day, the fact that as a developer I develop once and I can go across uh, screens is great, but only if the experience that I can deliver really works for the consumer. Microsoft emphasized its products also work on non-Windows devices. Here we have Office on an Apple and Android device. Microsoft also introduced its upcoming browser, Microsoft Edge, which allows you to take notes directly on top of the page. But perhaps where Microsoft is distinguishing itself most from the competition is in its holographic platform. The team showed off its virtual reality device, HoloLens, which through apps can overlay 3D images in any environment. So all I need to say is follow me. Microsoft announced it had 100 HoloLens devices on site for developers to work with this week. It also brought out university researchers who've already begun experimenting. This team created a holographic robot on top of a real robot. B15 pathfinding mode. Microsoft did not give any timetable for when HoloLens or Windows 10 will be hitting the market, though Windows 10 is widely expected to be released later this year. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.